Mahim starts to kind of come together a little more. Yeah, this Aethergust obviously going to do a good job of keeping Eagle carry him, uh, you know, a little more alive, but there's a spell mm -hmm. piece, all right? Sure. Pay for it, pay I guess. Easy, easy deal. Okay, I still have enough mana to pay for this spell piece. What are you doing, man? I mean, uh, yeah, sure, you're getting, you're getting the prowess triggers, but like, what's what's the plan here? Oh. There it is. A the mystical third as well. Functional. <laughs> yeah, functional spell piece enough to get in for Xaxes. Settle the wreckage. I'm glad you asked. Oh my god! A hundred card historic brawl! Settle the wreckage in hand after I called it. Riley, here we go. Nothing ventured, nothing gained here. Seasoned Pyromancer can let you ditch your hand in this case to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And we need exactly two. We need Bone Crusher Giant and an untapped red source. Need the uh, the Bone Crusher Giant with Stomp, which uh, stops the, the nine lives from preventing mm -hmm. damage. And we need the red source to cast the Stomp, Dennis. And wouldn't you know it? There it, it is. Look at that. I've always maintained, Dennis, I've always maintained that magic is a very skill-testing mm. game indeed, and Charizard James is showing us just how skill-based this game is, ripping the actual perfect two off the top here, and is going to win the game on the spot because of it. Yo, what's up, Titan Smash? Oh, no. Oh. If this was the only way Tybalt's Trickery had ever been used, Riley, I think it would have been balanced the way Wizards intended it. I think this is actually magic as R&D intended. Tybalt's Trickery getting rid of an eye twitch? Why are you scared of an eye twitch? Now you have to deal with the lolth. What was that? I'm terrified of an eye twitch, dude. Like, if, it, if only it had been something like a lolth, you know? Raise the alarm. We found their win con. We didn't know what it was, and now we know. I've now found their win con. I don't like it. You fool didn't play around triple tithe. Listen. My opponent had Sky Tether main deck and then sported out of all the bad cards and boarded in good cards like Memory Lapse and Teferi. How am I supposed to win if I know that? Their, their tempo play of two soldiers are going to win them the game. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. I can't look. I can't look. Ow. Man, Val Valkmir is a problem. Nope. Oh no. Wait, what just happened? Why was this five mana? Oh no. It came in top. Oh no. It came in top. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Did we do it? Yes. I attack. Holy shit. I attack. I attack. I attack. Everyone's clenching right now. No. Oh, he lost. He lost. I attacked. No. No. What? Oh, he lost. Oh no! <laughs> oh man! What? Uh, okay, I want them to kill this first. So I play this first. And I want these two to, to cast my other spells. <laughs> stop, opponent! Stop it! Please stop! Please stop! Please don't do it to me. Don't cast another land destruction spell. Please no oh my Let's go at distortion! Ah yeah! Feel the power of the six mana black sorcery. Thought distortion come forth! I summon the winged dragon of Ra! Oh! Oh! Pog Champ! Oh! 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 What the heck, dude? I was
was exaggerating. Oh, <laughs> Royal Eruption again! Oh my god! Kicker! Face! Oh, double Chandra emblem! Oh, is this... Yes! Oh! I guess I should just use this anyway. Wait, is this game? <laughs> oh, face damage. Oh, no freaking way. <laughs> All right, give me Scorpion off the top right now. It's just too good to be true! It's just too good to be true! It's just too good to be true! What the heck, dude? Cheating! They have Fatal Push. I don't care. If they have Fatal Push, they're gonna use it now. Oh no, it goes back in the deck! <laughs> no! Oh, if they have Fading Hope, I swear. I'm going to pay three life, and then they're going to Fading Hope it back to their hand. I'm going to cry. Okay, I didn't say that. Oh, no, I should have played Dahlia first. No, I should have played Dahlia first. No, don't do it. No. No. The second one got Approach. Wait, that still counts as casting, doesn't it? Wait, what? That's the worst possible <laughs> That doesn't work the right way. Oh my gosh, is this lethal? Oh, please be lethal. Oh my gosh. Is this broken or is this broken? I think we're broken. Oh my gosh, please don't kill my dog. Please don't kill my dog. If they kill my dog, I swear. Can't be blocked. Go 14, 14, dog for lethal. Yes, yes, yes. They're dead. Oh my gosh, wait. They have six cards in deck. Oh my gosh, they mill out. Oh my gosh, we milled them. We milled them from Angel of Suffering, they're dead. Oh my God. Oh, I'm gonna tilt for Send Voyage. Let's both tilt together, you ready? All right. When the Wandering Emperor gets cast, we both have to tilt together. I, 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 I trust me. All right, I'm ready. All right, cool. I'm ready too. I'm waiting. Oh my, oh my god, god! Every god, freaking again. time! So oh my Third god! Emperor? Why do they have so the many wandering cards? emperors? You have to be kidding me! You have uh, you don't have emperor. You top deck emperor against my freaking dragon. Nobody's supposed to emperor my dragon, and then they have another one off the top. I can't play around two in a row. Are you kidding me right now? All right. God. This is. This is. Ooh. I'm not gonna win. I have thirteen cards in my deck. Blended row. <laughs> Reclamation? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my. Oh God, I can draw a lot of cards, right? Don't we draw like four cards from this or at least three? <laughs> Damn. 
Payment breach. Oh, no. Alright. Watch this. Infernal Grasp right now. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, I, I did it! Oh, I called it! Oh, I called it! Oh! Watch this. The bolt's trickery off the top. I mean, it lets them, like... I'm just gonna plus. Graveyard Trespasser? I needed that. Oh well, there's three more in the deck. If they top that Grease Fang, then sure, they got me. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? What is going on? Holy crap, dude! What is going on? I'm dead on board. They just attacked me. Oh my god. What's wrong with this game? The second time in like four matches. Riley, does your opponent ever make a play that doesn't seem to make sense on the surface, but then over time starts to kind of come together a little more? Yeah, this Aethergust obviously going to do a good job of keeping Igor Karim, uh, you know, a little more alive, but there's a spell mm -hmm. piece, alright? Sure. Pay for it, pay I guess. easy, easy deal. Okay, I still have enough mana to pay for this spell piece. What are you doing, man? I mean, yeah, sure, you're getting, you're getting the prowess triggers, but like, what's what's the plan here? Oh. There it is. A the mystical third as well. functional, <laughs> yeah, functional spell piece enough to get in for Xaxes! Settle the wreckage. I'm glad you asked. Oh my god! A hundred card historic brawl! Settle the wreckage in hand after I called it. Riley, here we go. Nothing ventured, nothing gained here. Seasoned Pyromancer can let you ditch your hand in this case to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And we need exactly two. We need Bone Crusher Giant and an untapped red source. Need the uh, the Bone Crusher Giant with Stomp, which uh, stops the, the nine lives from preventing mm -hmm. damage. And we need the red source to cast the Stomp, Dennis. And wouldn't you know there it? There it is. Look at that. I've always maintained, Dennis, I've always maintained that magic is a very skill-testing mm. game indeed, and Charizard James is showing us just how skill-based this game is, ripping the actual perfect two off the top here, and is going to win the game on the spot because of it. Yo, what's up, Titan Smash? Oh, no. No. <laughs> If this was the only way Tybalt's Trickery had ever been used, Riley, I think it would have been balanced the way Wizards intended it. I think this is actually magic as R&D intended. Tri Tybalt's Trickery getting rid of an eye twitch? Why are you scared of an eye twitch? Now you have to deal with a lolth. What was that? I'm terrified of an eye twitch, dude. Like, if, if only it had been something like a lolth, you know? <laughs> Raise the alarm. We found their win con. We didn't know what it was, and now we know. I've now found their win con. 
I don't like it. You fool didn't play around triple tithe. Listen. My opponent had Sky Tether main deck and then sported out of all the bad cards and boarded in good cards like Memory Lapse and Teferi. How am I supposed to win if I know that? Their, their, their tempo play of two soldiers are going to win them the game. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. What's up, guys? How's it going today? Let's get the music playing. It is the last day of the month. Exciting, exciting. Which means we're going to push for that We're Jamming t-shirt goal. And I will make the... I will make the t-shirt if we get to the goal. But for now... Let's play some blue eye control. I didn't mean to rhyme, but goal and control rhymes. Hey, job, what's up? The trickery highlight was funny, but also rude. <laughs> I know, I know. It was the worst. I mean, why would why would you why would you trickery a eye twitch into a wolf? Not like on turn two or three. I was like, oh, sure, I'll take it. We take those. All right, let's play the bad man of the format, Blue Eye Control, shall we? I don't even know if this is a good build, but it's probably good enough. Notably, I'm not playing four absorbs and playing one synergy to sabotage because I don't feel like wasting a rare wild card. And I'm also playing three Teferis because I don't want to play a mythic wild card, but three Teferis is probably okay. Play lands in verdict? Yeah, I know. Easy clap. <laughs> Sounds easy to me. Verdict, and they scoop, and then that's it. That's all they wrote. Anyways, let's get in to the YouTube intro, and then we'll get into the games. How have you been, Jub? Since, like, yesterday. All right, let's go. What's up, Jamers? It's the one Jame, and today we're playing Blue White Control in Explorer. This is exactly how it is in Pioneer. Nothing else has changed. Everything's in Pioneer now that we have Supreme Verdict. Wow, what a card! What a card! Now our uh, matchup against Spirits isn't bad. It's now really good. Anyways, we're playing a bunch of removal spells, a bunch of counter spells. Uh, and a, a bunch of planeswalkers like Narset, Wandering Emperor, and Teferi. And this little old card called Shark Typhoon, Coverka Blue, where are you at? Anyways, in our sideboard for us in best of three today is a rest in peace for like the Grease Fang matchup. Uh, Aethergrass, Disdainful Stroke, Dream Challer for Red Black Midrange, Holebreaker Horror for the Mirror Match, Portable Holes for like Pat Oven and random permanents that we want to get rid of, Dovin's Veto, the fourth copy, uh, three Mystical Disputes, a farewell, a second farewell, and uh, another Shark Typhoon for the Control Mirror match. Anyways, let's have some fun telling our opponents that they can't play the game. About 75, uh, it's about 70 percent of you are not subscribed, so make sure to click that subscribe button if you want to see more Explorer Best of Three content from me. Also, click the like button to help the almighty algorithm reach this video to more people. And it all starts right now. Ned Bob, what's up? I did build an Abzan Storm the Festival deck. Right here, that I'll be showing off soon. I'm not I'm, I'm just not done building it yet. What's up, Nuno? If 
By the way, is everyone, if, if are people interested in the We're Jamming t-shirt that says We're Jamming on it? Because I can keep this sub goal for next month if we don't hit it this month. We can just keep running back to the sub goal until we hit 100. Trip breaker. All right, Supreme Verdict, how are you? How are you doing today? Please don't have Thoughtseize. That's a priest of the Forgotten Gods. Oh my. My. Probably cycling both of these farmlands. Lazatep? That's going to be a no. Uh, blue for Sinister Sabotage. I love losing to random decks on ladder. <laughs> we will not lose to this. Well, you have to get our Supreme, Supreme Verdict out of our hand before they... Oh, Corpse Knight. Oh, I know what they're doing. Oh, we need to stop the rally. This is a rally deck, so we need to save the center to sabotage for a rally. We need to verdict this board. And then hope they don't have rally next turn. Because they do get a couple draws, like one off Crypt Breaker, one off Priest. Well, I guess that's two other ones then? I guess not. We played Explorer event with Rakdos and went 0-5, losing three and four of those matches. Oh no. Losing in three in four of those matches. Or the five matches, oh my goodness. Oh, they have the untapped white source, which means they have rally, which means yikes. They can bring all these back. Dang it, they actually have it. They needed the untapped white source and the rally. Alright, well, I guess we might die. Oh, they have wayward. Okay, okay. Okay, they're just not casting rally yet. They have it, but they're not casting it. There. I want to hold up Sabotage and Dwarf Deception. I just don't think I can do that. Unless I play a blue source this turn. Maybe I don't need to. I'll just play a land and cycle farm lane plus sabotage if I have to. What were your matchups with Rakdos midrange? Well, now that I have a now that I didn't cast rally, I have a counter spell for rally. Oh, they're playing Return of the Ranks and Rally? What if I Field of Ruin this Hive of the Eye Tyrant? And Sinister Sabotage. 
Can I do that? Because I, I kind of want to use this Field of Rune anyway, and this is the most mana efficient way to do it. Or I could just cycle farmland. I could probably just cycle farmland. Perfect. All right, that was a good draw. So now I can go land to fairy, untap field of ruin plus a land, and then field of ruin their hive. Hopefully they don't have a second return to the ranks of rally. Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? At least I'm not dead. I could have been dead. But I'm very, very, very close to dead. I need a sleeper? Because at the beginning of the upkeep, they are going to use priest ability and they're all they're already gonna get a draw off this. Spring Verdict isn't here after all. I already used one. Then they had two reanimate spells. I'll grab a white here. Why is Field of Ruin taking forever to resolve? Uh, game? Alright, we- I believe in the Supreme Verdict. We believe in the Verdict. Emperor? That ain't good enough. Cause we're like, we're gonna take two from priest, go to one. He's getting exiled at the upkeep. So what if I what if I bounce the priest? That seems bad. I should probably just minus on the priest. And that gives up my Teferi. No, it doesn't. They get exiled at the beginning of their upkeep. So the play is minus on priest. They tap it for a draw. They're gonna they're gonna get to draw this card soon. But the play is this. I'm home. 
then they're going to lose everything else. They are going to get to draw a card off Crypt Breaker, though. They're not going to get to draw their priest. They will get to... Well, no, they will get to draw their priest because they can draw another card off Crypt Breaker. But at least they can't in, they can't burn me in their upkeep with the priest. Wait, they don't wait, they get to keep their 1-1 one, one around? Excuse me? Oh, yeah, they do get to keep their 1-1 one, one around. Cuz it, it was created by their creature. Fair. All right, goodbye emperor. Nice knowing you. That was a ton of value from them. Hopefully I can still get there and not get burned out by multiple priests. Might have to be in some kind of desperation mode against these cards. Oh, it's a shark typhoon. Ooh. Ooh, tingly feelings. Let's get to the good part. Oh, we drew the verdict! We're insane! We're broken. Champion, sure. Target player makes X two twos, then up to one target creature gets blah blah blah. So this gets to become a three three. Question here. Am I bouncing a 2-2 or am I using castle? Probably using castle. Narset, that's a good draw. We need to move quickly. Hard cash shark? Chad cast! Nothing wrong with a good old Chad Chad cast chat. I know eighty-eight ways to keep an open mind. I don't think they have an answer main deck. Like they could probably have like Vanishing Verse or um something something along those lines or Shat like a forgot the forgot the card that kills uh, enchantments in in that in those colors. Forgot the name of it off the top of my head. But they could have those. So I'm not going to be hard casting games two and three. But game one, Chad cast Shark is probably insane. I'd be very, very surprised if they main deck Vanishing Verse. Got 
Gosh, this game was actually really good. They had they had us on the ropes, Jap. They had us on the ropes. And now they're roping. <laughs> they had us on the ropes and now they're roping. Ah. Uh, we did top deck verdict like an absolute champion. But I do think I do think the Wandering Emperor play we did was was correct. Even though Wandering Emperor did have to take the fall for for it. We were avenging Wandering Emperor's death by winning the matchup with a hard cash shark typhoon. Come on. Come on, opponent. Oh, I love Okay, part of me just loves this. Part of me really hates it, but part of me just loves it and is super satisfied. Uh Jub, you lost to two you beat two blue whites and a oh you played against two blue whites in Eorian. Lost to the mirror in mono red. I played in the uh, in an ex um, pioneer regional championship event and I top aided. I lost round one to Boggles, which plays a one mana one one hex proof creature, and then puts a whole bunch of enchantments on it, auras, and kills me with it. I had to play against a ten ten hex proof flying trample vigilance first strike. And I don't have any out in my deck to that, so I lost. Victorious. So I lost game one because I have no answer. Game two in my Rakdos midrange deck in Pioneer, I have... I have two copies of Invoke Despair and a Meat Hook Massacre that I could have drawn. Uh, my opponent had a super huge... My, I thought sees my opponent's only creature in game three. So I'm like, oh, we got there. I thought sees their only creature. They have nothing. They have a bunch of auras in hand and nothing else. They have like five mana, all auras. I win, right? I win in two turns. I get them down to like seven life. They top deck hexproof creature. They top deck the hexproof creature. And then, uh, and then puts all the auras from the hand onto it. And then I couldn't beat the hexproof creature and lost. That's how I lost round one. Am I supposed to keep this? I'm going first. That seems really bad going first. It seems like I can just not hit my land drop and die. I'm going to mulligan. At least this has three lands in it. We're going to put back the Supreme Verdict. I mean, this is Gigantha, so it could be Sacrifice. It also could be some random artifact deck. But I think I'm putting back the Supreme Verdict here. I'm going to play Jawara Disruption Tap first. Oh my gosh, Glacial Fortress is... A tap land. That is really sad. Okay, probably sacrifice. Ooh, Pyromancer. That's really good against me. Uh, I'm going to need to have them not draw Thoughtseize. I need, my, I need my verdict, so gotta absorb the thought seize. But if they have another thought seize, I freaking die. No more thought seize, please. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I think I just verdict. Like, what do they have? Deadly dispute? Like, sure, dispute. Glacial Fortress will forever bring me back to 2013. <laughs> Village rights? Alright, same thing. Double village rights. Must be nice. Alright, now I'm getting double thought seized. Oh no, another one. Oh my gosh, it's their same play. Alright, well, guess you got me. Alright, now I'm looking for a... 
cling to dust? At least I didn't cling my memory deluge. At least they can out of their graveyard at some point. Oh my gosh, Croxa. Okay, so I need to draw... I need to draw exactly farewell. I can imagine this being a ter terrible freaking matchup. Or at least that's not a thought seize. As long as it's not a thought seize, we can go for a farewell plus a land, and then we, we can be in there. Farewell plus a land probably gets us way back in the game. All right, this is not farewell, so we have to take the land. Hardcast Shark Typhoon? They probably don't have an answer to that. I mean, how am I beating Croxa? The answer is I'm not. Is the only way I win this game by hard casting Shark Typhoon and eventually and eventually drawing? Or do I need to cycle Shark Typhoon and hope I draw the one farewell in my deck? They, oh yeah, they only have haste cross if they draw a land. I need to do this and then Dovin's Veto their fame. I mean, I need to Dovin's Veto their fame and then Shark Typhoon for one. But then at that point, I still lose the shark. So I need to not draw Farewell off the shark. And I need to draw... I need to not draw Farewell off the shark. I need to draw it on the second card off the top. Bottom line is I get I have to be extremely freaking lucky. Honestly, I think I just need to Shark Typhoon for two right now. To see if I need to discard this Vito or not. Interesting. I mean, if the answer is drawing farewell, I need to—I need them to not fame here. And then I need to draw. Then I need to draw exactly farewell right now. Uh, sure, they can have their mill. I'm gonna farewell them. Unfortunate. If this was untapped, I had a chance. Then I could just not die here and then in the memory deluge, but I can't now. They're gonna exile it anyway. Alright, now I need to draw. Exactly farewell off the top. Alright, do we believe, chat? Do you believe in the farewell? I know I do. I know I do. Oh, come on. One time for the one. Farewell off the top. One time for the one. That's a verdict. Okay, it... it it might not win us the game, but at least it gets rid of the pressure for now. All right. Verdict next turn. Because we are definitely going to 11 life next turn. At the very least. We are going to draw farewell at some point in this game.
That's only 10 damage if I discard this. But I'm going to try to draw a removal spell for Kroxa. All right, we're getting there. You can just keep bringing Croxa back, which is so freaking unfortunate. We will draw farewell. They have an untapped land that can also get rid of our Deluge with the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. They're not doing that. The Fairy. And minus on the Croxa. But then Teferi dies? Question is, can we... We're... we're can we die? Are we minusing on Croxa? We can we can definitely die if they have any untapped land, right? To from from uh, both both creature lands. We need to draw a white source plus march off this deluge. No, but then we died to untap land anyway. All right, so since we died to untap land anyway, we need to take the most greedy line possible that doesn't actually die to this croxa, also. Which is this minus on croxa, hope they don't have an untap land and draw a farewell off the top. Even if we do that, we're, die we're dead to the creature lands. Whoa, they used a removal spell on my... They used an actual removal spell? Instead of just attacking it? I am so confused. I guess they wanted to give it, make a two-turn clock for me, and they don't have any other use for a strangle anyway, which kind of makes sense. They have claim. Our set. This is, this is looking very dead for us. There's the untap land. And now we're dead to both lands. We tried. Now I can take out these Dovin's Vetoes, put in these Rest in Pieces, put in these Portable Holes, put in this Farewell, put in this Aether Gust. Um, they probably don't have an answer to Shark Typhoon Hardcast. That's probably actually good. Dream Trawler is amazing. Counter spells are, are a lot worse in this matchup. But I do like the life gain. I think I'm just going to trim on some counter spells and we have to trim on some other things too. I guess we'll trim on the Shark Typhoon. We'll, we'll not board the other Shark Typhoon in. Wandering Emperor is a little bit worse here since they have a bunch of 1-1s. One if they had a bunch of chunky threats, then I would like this more, but I just don't. Um, I think I want to keep all my Narsets. Since I have four portable holes, I, I think I can trim a Fateful Absence, and uh, maybe we don't need all three rest in peace. That seems like a lot, right? All right.
I think I can keep this. Hopefully they don't thought seize my Gerard reception. Oh crap. Oh, wow. okay, they didn't take it. I'm actually going to do this since I drew the land, and I'm going to plan to draw our disruption in their play if it's a season pyromancer or whatever. They're not going to play it because I have this. Roxa? All right, that gets rid of my march, I think. Just need to make sure I hit them those land drops. Maybe I should have played the Gerard disruption to play around another duress. Am I am I marching? That that sounds really bad. If I if I march Croxa exiling to fairy, I actually lose my entire hand. And claim claiming uh, uh, draw disruption to claim is the exact same thing as just discarding claim to truck to discarding this to the Croxa trigger. But I think I'm actually discarding to fairy here. I think I am getting rid of this Pyromancer now. This one doesn't get out of control. Oh, that's a, that's a big draw. That means next turn they bring Croxa back. Oh, Gust is insane here. Gus is broken. Oh, they're going to Arcanist fame and then claim Croxa? That's fine. If they claim if they claim Arcanist, oh no, they can't do that. If they fa if they fame Arcanist, they they can just cast arrest, right? So I'm going to need to draw an untap land here. Because if they're getting duress back anyway, then I need to do this. They're forcing my hand. All right, untap land. We're broken. And they're left with Arcanus and no graveyard. They do have Den of the Bugbear, so they can attack me for five every turn. Plus, they also have Gigant in their hand, so I'm gonna need to draw some more gas. But we did kind of oh, that's gas. We did kind of like survive. But I need I need to draw a removal spell here because they can just kill Teferi here as well. Let's get to the good part. That's unfortunate.
Yep, Teferi's gonna go down. Is this what it feels like to be a control player? I'll have a better plan next time. All right, we need verdict. But this this creature lands so good against us right now. Rest in peace or deluge. Definitely deluge. Please don't have Thoughtseize. Oh my god. Am I using Deluge right now? Or am I just letting it go to Grave? I should just do it now. That's my last Emperor in the deck. So I should just discard the Narset. Don't you love the feeling of being completely reliant on your draws for the first eight turns of any match? <laughs> is that how it is for control? Tell me that's not how it is. I just had to get rid of my own Delusion Grave because they had a Croxa. This card's not even good. And they're going to just destroy us with Den of the Bugbear until we draw an out to it. Please don't milk Roxa. Thank you. Do I have Hall? Yep. It's not that Hall's good against this matchup anyway. They make a lot of 1-1s. One one oh my gosh, we're dead to dead of the bugbear. Are you serious? No. Imagine. God, that card's bad. All right. Putting one more Field of Ruin in my deck after this match. Okay, that, that card's good. Any field do I play? I think it's three right now. I mean, hopefully it's not two. All right, we're dead. I don't expect to have a good matchup against that deck anyway. Also, nobody ever plays that deck. Do the pack? Like, there's no way control beats Croxa.deck. Croxa and Thought Season Duress.deck. It is two Field of Room right now. I think I should play three. Hopefully, it doesn't mess up my mana too much.
Your hero is a, too much of a dead giveaway of what my deck is. I don't I don't think three rest in peace is is is, is right, because that it seems like way too many rest in pieces. And I want like another card to play. Maybe a whirlwind denial. It's Lotus Field. What rip for settle? No, Hearst isn't good, I don't think. I mean. This isn't this isn't necessarily good. This isn't necessarily good in the mm. No. Versus good with Kahira. I know, I just don't think I want to play Kahira. It's it's too much of a dead giveaway what my deck is. I just go to four shark typhoons, but I only really want to bring in the four shark typhoon if it's dedicated control. It's only good against uh, Hydro Crisis, Obnixilus, and Nomog. Yeah, all cards that are really good against us. Maybe I should play a. Um... I guess it is just a settle. Sure. Yorian? I almost want to quit now. Okay, so, so this is Soul Tile Ultimatum? Yep, definitely ultimatum. All right, now that we now they know we have uh, Jawar disruption, so that they can continually play around it forever. That's right. We have the sinister sabotage they don't know about, which is a really good pickup. At least we can stop their cultivate here. Which is why they did not cultivate.
Get the sabotage in the middle of our hand like it's a good card. I mean, it would be just the one that gains three life. Stop and cultivate? Look, I am. I shock this in because I want them to think I am going to Emperor, but I'm, in reality, might might use Absorb. But I, I probably need to save Absorb for a uh, for a um, ultimatum. Alright, opponent, what you got? I, I hopefully they have nothing since I since I counted their absorb and they don't actually have a land. Just kidding. Uh Fable Passage in the in the deck probably means that they play um Fatal Push. Would definitely not be surprised if they played that. Seems like a good payoff for playing Fable Passage. Also, they probably play Pelucranos because it, it helps fuel the graveyard. All right, they're doing this because they want us to use this. But they don't know I have another counter spell. Like, oh, we got to get their absorb out of their hand. Uh, I can Field of Ruin and Absorb. I don't want to save March for, like, if they hard draw a huge spell. What's up, Garbage Handy? Like, what do they have here if I play Wandering Emperor? Nothing? That's what I thought. I think I'm just going to play Emperor here and then start getting on the offensive. Assistance, I have two. They responded with Gross Spiral like they don't want me to counter Gross Spiral. I would be okay with counter. If I was them, I'd be super okay if they countered by Gross Spiral. Um, I'm gonna guess that they have Fatal Push here. Good draw. So I'm going to minus this instead of plussing it. Because if I plus it, they just fatal push my 2 2 in response. I'm going to attack anyway because I don't mind the trade, plus, this is a vigilance creature anyway. Also, if they try to attack with Hall on my Emperor or me or something, since I'm at 14, I can just Field of Ruin it. Because they can easily go trade here, Fatal Push this, attack him with Hall, but they can't because I have Field of Ruin.
No fatal push. On it. They have enough mana to ultimate him, and they don't know if I have a counter spell or not, so they might just go for it. Cultivate? Sure. What if I just use my mana and Field of Ruin now? But so I don't just have to I don't have to worry about it later on. Doing that. They have a window right now to resolve a spell through absorb, but like I don't really care. What are they gonna play? The only thing I care about is making enough land drops to march something huge. They got a basic land, right? They did, okay. They got this island. Good draw. If I plus, they use their fatal push again, but it's fine. I want to keep my emperor around. They have a fatal push. They're probably using it on this too, too. They have to have like two ultimatums to win here, I think. Hmm, interesting. But I never thought they had that. Weird play from the opponent. Really weird. Hmm. Wow. Never saw that one coming. E gate? That's fine with me. I don't care about that. I care about ultimatum. Unless they play like spell pierce or something. Or not, not spell pierce, but like a, a hard counter spell. Joe Dixon, what's up? Sucks we couldn't face each other in top eight yesterday. Both had bad beats. See you at the next one. Yep. For those of you who didn't know, I made top eight with Joe Dixon at the regional qualifier. It was a fun experience. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where's our Teferis? Can someone tell me? Can we get a mod check for Teferi? If three mana left over, we can pay for Dispute if they main deck it. They probably play like Negate or Stroke or something. Maybe they play like Drown in the Lock? Probably don't play Drown. They could play Drown. But I don't think so. Binding. What are they binding? Emperor? Yeah, I'm fine with that. My 2-2. Two -two. Aggressive. Okay, March can't actually deal with Planeswalkers. But I can kill that with Hall, but then I can't hold up Absorb. What if they plus it and then I... I don't think I can afford to absorb that. Test of talents in the board. That's a good thought. Even you cannot forget. If I draw Dovin's Veto and a land, I can eventually haul something and hold up Veto. But I also don't have that either. Alright, so the game plan here is past Emperor end step. And then attack the professor on it over the course of a couple turns. 
That's the reason why they just they binding my tutu because they want to protect their Emperor. Glacial Fortress. Because I do this, put it to three, then they put it to four, and then I kill it. Because I cannot afford to absorb. I can't afford to absorb that if they're just going to resolve ultimatum. They're getting to the point where they can cast ultimatum and another huge card in the same turn. They can go ultimatum plus a four drop. Pretty sure we've drawn five straight lands. Yeah, where's our Teferis? Where's Teferis? Where's Deluge? Where's, like, a lot of things that I care about? Alright, there it is. Have to do this. I hope they don't have Negate. Perfect. Then we can kill Onyx. Through a blocker, because we also have March. I think I'm going to end step Field of Ruin their Castle Lock Lane. That card's a problem. Languish. <laughs> they real. They. Oh my god, they are nuts. Alright, now I'm not Field of Ruining it, because they have. They have thoughts. They have a Fatal Push open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold up. Okay, I think I just have to attack Onyx with Hall then. And if I do that, I can still Field of Ruin because Fatal Push doesn't kill Hall anyway because of Ward. They probably have one more Swamp in deck since they have one Swamp here and Ultimatum requires double Swamp, so they probably have double Swamp in their deck. That's a castle. All right, now I just have to like pretend my last card is Veto or like another counter spell. Trust me, I have a counter spell in my hand. Trust. Trust it. Please don't have another ultimatum. Please don't have another ultimatum. Don't you dare. Oh my gosh, another languish. We're in there, boys! Oh, yes! I have to kill them. What if I attack with Hall and they have, like, Ultimatum plus Mystical Dispute? Not in the main deck. Not in the main deck! Maybe they have Fatal Push for this Hall, but I have a second Hall anyway. No fatal push. There they have it. Heartless act. Sure. All I need to do is draw an untapped land now. Now all I need to do is draw an untapped land to attack with this hall again. And then after they use removal spells on Hall, I guess I can just use Castle Arden Veil a bunch of times. But if I don't draw an untapped land, I will be using Castle. This grind at the top, I'm pretty sure they did. If they draw Void Collects, I can just take the hit and then Verdict. Uh, tap land? Like an absolute scrub? I 
think I am actually playing this land because it's that important for the hall. Or maybe I'm just trying to draw Teferi. I don't know. I, I don't need to. I don't need to use Hall. I'll just. I'll just freaking try to draw Teferi right now. Where the heck is my Teferi? They've used Languish on a single Samurai. Two separate times. Uh, yeah. Bye. Another Emperor? I will amass an army of tutus. Opponent's inability to draw thought sees is triggering them all game. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, they might not play thought sees game one. They might not, but they're also playing Yorian, so, to, so they deserve it. Imagine opponent not actually utilizing killing the best land, Castle Ardenvale. Kill the Emperor, please. Get it. Okay, eventually we're going to have to draw. Oh my gosh, they're returning their binding. We can blow them out in this march right now. But if, they, if they want to cast binding uh, in the same turn, I'm let it, gonna let them. Who cares? Opponent is on stay alive mode, and I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Winning. This is how I win matches of magic. Make our opponents really, really mad. <laughs> opponents so tilted. So tilted. All right, I think we need to farewell because if we don't, they, yeah, they just couldn't deal with that second useless binding trigger. That that was the the straw that broke the camel's back. Uh, let's see, veto, shark, dispute, broke, gust. I think farewell is what we want after they do their Vorinclex turn slash whatever. Because it also deals with the with the it deals with the freaking Eora Best of Sea God. Maybe one farewell is enough. Oh, I, I, no, I, I want for a while because they board into, like, Pelucranos, right? 
Because they're the beatdown. Holebreaker Horror is insane here. Gotta cut nine cards. Seems like a lot. So they probably have a lot of shark typhoons. I guess I'll keep this. Was that in the gate? Okay, definitely fair to assume that was an omen. Oh my gosh, their name is Top Deck Karn and they're playing a combo deck. Vito was a really good draw there. I do want to use my dispute. I'm just gonna use it here. Because the later on the later on in the game it goes, the worse and worse dispute gets. But they do get to take out their languages and fatal pushes and stuff at this point in the game. Oh, that was a perfect draw. I'm not going to need this. It was a perfect draw because they're going to cast this and I'm going to dispute it. I did not have an answer to it before this. Lucranos. Okay, so I just bounce this, this turn. Such a good turn. But they will get to resolve Pelucranos this turn if they cast it. Then I can just minus on it. No! No! Oh, no! Saved! We drew a land! Saved! 
saved. Saved. All right, we will, we will get there. Oh, they had a mystical dispute. It's all right, make them use it. All right, we will, we'll get there. We'll get there. They have dispute. Oh, they don't have dispute. Oh my god, they don't have dispute. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, we're getting there. Can you believe it? Can you believe we're getting there? Oh, hole breaker. Yes. Yeah, Tef draw before Narset. I know, I just got excited. Maximilian the third, thanks for the follow. The rebuild, the rebuild after the thought distortion for my entire hand as green thanks for the follow. Oh my gosh. Feel the power of the six mana black sorcery. Thought distortion, come forth. Seven plus seven is 14, they're at 12. You get shadows verdict, sure. Oh my God, we're doing it. We're doing it! Oh my god! Oh! We won! We get to beat the Thought Distortion for our whole hand! Yes! <laughs> Take that Thought Distortion! Take that in your face! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen, if that, do if that doesn't make you follow or sub to the channel, I don't know what will. Dragable, thanks for the follow. Thought distortion for your whole hand and the control deck don't care. Ban Teferi? No, that wasn't a Teferi problem. Okay, maybe it might have been a Teferi problem. But Narset's also a really good card. Narset Reversal. That's a card I could play. I'm definitely getting thought seized. Do you think it was correct to make two sharks in case you know to land or hull? Maybe? I mean, I only had, I had what? One, two, three, four, five mana. I could have made, no, I couldn't have made two sharks with five mana. So I can't, one, two, one, one sharks requires six mana. Double thought seize? I expected that. I expected nothing less. And we'll draw what we need off the top, like we always do. Hold you. Never didn't have it. I had two sharks, but but I had five mana. Is this Grease Fang? Can 
Could be a Grease Fang. Oh, you're saying I I I I, I make a one one shark and then make a zero zero shark? Is what you're saying? Oh uh, yeah, I definitely make two one ones if I had zero. Elitus? Do I just do I just farewell instead of absorb? Nah, I think I absorb. Yonja, thanks for the follow. Ooh, some candy. <laughs> no assassin's trophy in the opponent's hand. Uh, Kalidus definitely means that they're not playing Grease Fang. They're Abzan mid range. Means Dovin's vetoes come out. We're gonna keep like a, a one veto in for like protecting my hand through a counter spell through through a thoughtsies thoughtsies. Absent mid range. What does that play? Vanishing verse, assassin's trophy, potentially noxious grasp, siege rhino, graveyard trespasser. Painful Stroke. Stops Kalidus and... And Norino. I think Portable Hole's fine just in case they play like Underdog or Scavenging is. Stroke's probably not even good enough. They're the beatdowns. They're gonna try to freaking aggro us to death. We probably we probably actually don't want the veto. Try to counter spell. Try to narset. I don't even think I want to go with triple shark here. Got one more card. Go down to two counter spells. Like, it, this match is about playing to the board, and if they're going to play a, tre uh, a three drop on turn three, I don't have enough time on the draw to actually counter that. Uh, this hand is so land light, but I think I'm keeping it. We'll draw lands, right? Famous last words. Oh, God, don't take draw disruption. Oh, God. God. Take draw. Oh, my gosh. They should have taken draw. Oh, my gosh. I think they punted. I don't know why in what world you would take to ferry there. Especially knowing that you have that. Oh my god. I don't care about shovel right now. Backer, that thing's gotta go. Do I give them... I actually think I give them one treasure off of this. Or whatever it's called. Clue. The rest. Alright. I'll cast healing self. My verdict does make things easier.
They don't have the land drop. I think I'm just marching the tracker. Or they can hit a land. I'm expecting some number of go blank. Sure. I always call it. Why, why, why do I, why do I say anything? I don't know why I say anything. God, shovel's so bad here. Oh, that's a good, that's a freaking insane card here. Honestly, I hope they draw Thoughtseize. They didn't sacrifice. That means this card in hand's like... They did not sacrifice. This card's like Elder Gargaroth or something crazy. I've learned much during my travels. I should be calling the dead cards? You're not wrong. When this dies, they draw a card. They got rid of their Vraska? Oh my gosh, what if they have Questing Beast? Then I'm broken if they have Questing Beast. I don't know what in what world they wouldn't sacrifice their card, though. Like, I am so confused. Gargaroth? Oh my god! Oh my freaking god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! This, this, we didn't even see one last game! No! <laughs> Wow! I was gonna settle, but then I just felt like not, because I didn't want to give them the draw off the Gargaroth. <laughs> Oh my god! They didn't even play that card in game one either. That was just sick. <laughs> that was sick. And a Basilisk Caller, that's nice. Also got a uh, Wear Wild Card, also nice. Everything else is bad. Let's queue up into the next match. I'm going to grab a drink right now. Season just said, I guess so.
Your end pile. Yikes. Creativity. Can I cast next turn? Narset? Ouch. Ooh. They have creativity, they just win the game. No, I don't. They have to have the land that makes a 1-1. One, one. That's a good draw. Yep. If I had a land, I could have stopped the... I could have stopped that. Oh, there's a land. Don't know how... Might just be dead. Wow, Shark's such a good card in that deck. They're gonna cast Yorn and reset their Narset and cast Shark Typhoon. Also, get rid of their Fires of Invention so they can cast something else if they want. Oh, they can creativity this turn. They can cast this, exile fires invention, and then creativity of the Orion. Or that. That's fine, I can deal with that with March. I have to get rid of a lot to do it, but probably worth. This is very sad. I agree. Oh, did I not have to do that? I definitely didn't have to do that. Oh, you know what? I should have got the draw deception because it's a land. Yeah, I'm going to scoop this game. So they're getting... They're getting Agent of Treachery?
Uh, they can't have Gear Hulk because Gear Hulk's not in this format, I don't think. Is it? Is Gear Hulk in this format? I thought it was only in Historic. Came out in Kaladesh? Oh yeah, that's right. All right, now I need to just draw a payoff. All right, there we are. All right now I just need to draw a land. At least two lands, I think. They didn't hit their land drop, right? Yeah, yeah they did. Uh, no fires. They they could board fires out. Probably have a counter spell. If I do this, they counter spell. If I don't do it, they wandering emperor. That's fine. Not gonna do it then. Can you imagine Teferi had Flash? And it could like flash in and then minus and then start plussing? Insane. You don't want to think about it. If they ever resolve Yorin, it's going to be crazy. Unless I have Narset. Seems like they go like they have like land dispute. I can play through that. Resolve Narset. It's not gonna resolve. Probably have, they probably have veto. What? They have fateful absence. Perfect. That's the card I wanted off this anyway, so I can hit my land drop. I love how Narset can hit your land drops by getting Jari. Okay, fateful absence is what I expected. So they fate floss since this and they play a land and then hold up Jawari for my disdainful stroke and then they get maximum value. But if I stop this, they resolve this, don't get to draw anything, and then I get to fate flaps since it. I think I just left the I think I just stopped the fate flapsons, weirdly enough. I don't, I don't usually do that, but in this weird, specific circumstance, I think it's correct. Dark is really good. That is true, Supernova. Fable. 
Dang, I guess that makes me want to have Farewell on my deck. Dang, this table's gonna two for one me, isn't it? I can't draw, but I just want to tick it up. Doing that so that my Narset lives. Night Owl, thanks for the follow. Meditate and prepare. All right, their plan is to shark. I have to kill this. And then I have to make a castle. That's not going to attack through the reflection. Need to hope they don't have fateful absence or have like a, none of the shark. So what happens is I plus here. Put a stop on my end step. Past hole breaker horror on my end step. This lets me do this plus hold up veto disdainful stroke.
They have multiple flash threats. And I needed them to not have two different flash threats, because I can bounce another one. Now that I can bounce it with reflection, I need them to cast a spell. I can only bounce one thing. But if I go to bounce something, they're just going to copy it with, with reflection in response to me bouncing it. And I needed to hope that they also don't have a way to kill my Hullbreaker Horror. They shocked that? Rackrose, thanks for the follow. I need to hope they don't have double creativity, I guess. They do need to kill my Narset. Yep, they were smart and they didn't cast anything before they did that. I need to kill their Narset. They also need to kill my fairy. If I do this, I get creativity, but oh well. I can also get counterspelled. Oh my gosh, they don't have one. Wow. They have creativity and kill my Teferi, then I lose. Dang it. I mean, Transmogrify. Alright, so I need to... Oh, wow. I'm dead. Yeah, they had everything. I had double flash threat uh, and Transmogrify. Nothing I can do about that. So if they don't have the Shark Typhoon, they can't kill, they can't kill my Narset. And if they don't, I mean, the Wandering Emperor was kind of whatever, but it just let them, it just let their Narset live. So in reality, they, I didn't, I needed them to not have the second Shark. Like, they're a combo deck that can also just play the Control Mirror. They can't play the Control Mirror as well as the Control deck can. But I always have to be aware of, of them just comboing me. So at that point, I needed just to just hope they didn't have the combo. But it is what it is. I could have just, like, let Yorian resolve. But that's Scry 6, draw 3. Alright, why am I playing against freaking infinite blue white mirrors? I don't want to play against blue white mirrors. What if they try to resolve a uh, Planeswalker right now?
And I kept a hand of, like, double verdict. Which is really bad. I need to double draw disruption when they go land to fairy. But I can't cast Narset yet. I can only cast Narset if I get another untap land. Hopefully I don't have a shark. I guess I have an answer to it. What's up, Riley? Cast a fairy. No tap. I've been awesome, Riley. Thanks for asking. Awesome as always. They shocked and didn't do anything else. I guess I have absence for Teferi now. I'm gonna pass. I have another untapped land and cast Teferi. I'm in trouble. Alright, so now I can cast Narset and then double Jawari. Dorber Deluge. Hi, Deluge. Hopefully they don't have test of talents. They could have drawer themselves for sensor. Oh my gosh, they exiled it. Who plays dissipate? Triple verdict must be nice. Lots of control and lots of red black on the letter. I'm fine playing against red black. I just, I just, I think control mirrors are super boring. Like they're 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 boring and they're interesting at the same time. But I just don't think it's boring content to watch on Twitch. It's interesting to play it. I think watching it is just awful. <laughs> so thank you for all being here.
That's why I came here to fall asleep. All right, the one gem ASMR stream. I play Jawari Ruins Tapped. My opponent plays Jawari Ruins Tapped. Opponent plays Deserted Beach. Goes to their end step and passes turn. Javaluckin, thanks for the follow. Contemplating looking at hand, what do I do? Opponent probably has three remo three counter spells in hand, and I have none. I have three supreme verdicts against the control mirror match. Are you all asleep yet? I am. I, I just ha I, I I just think that this is just such bad. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, why are they actually why are they not cycling those? Emperor, all right, we got there. Got there, boys. Opponent probably has the same exact deck that we do. Discard Supreme Verdict to hand size. That's a shark. I'm going to Shark Typhoon for seven to hold up Vito for when they flash in Wandering Emperor after I do that. I think, I think that's a veto. That's not a no. That's definitely not an easy hard cash shark. They definitely have Dovin's veto or another counter spell in hand. Portable hole. If Fate Flaps is my own card, I do get a draw out of that. Eh. Honestly, if they flash an Emperor, I'm so excited about that because that means I can resolve to fairy. E20, what's up? Good to see you. Incoming March? Oh, March. Excuse me? Oh, they could have Emperor. Alright, so the play is Cast a Fairy. Hey, what's up, Siege Rhino? Alright, so what if... Definitely a Wandering Emperor here, right? What if I just do this and try to get, like, a Counterspell? Another March. Kind of unfortunate. It's right. If they Emperor this, I can resolve to Fairy. Settle my wreckage. Main deck? Ramp? You look at that, I resolved to fairy in the mirror. That sounds busted. Do 
Going to some Vulcan to do some modern tomorrow at the LGS? Sick, what modern deck are you playing? I don't want another March, but Mar but Narset looks really really insane right now. I think we're solidly ahead. Resolve Narset? You just don't have a counterspell? What's in their hand? Like, Supreme Verdicts? Maybe a huge shark? Maybe like shark veto? Yeah, one thing I don't have going for me right now is any counterspell. They're gonna get a lot of looks. Their dissipate was really strong. Because they had Dissipate, which countered Member Deluge, and exiled it. Alright, no longer solidly ahead. You can't draw a card. I want them to absorb this. And now I want them to kill this too. That resolved. Busted. Used all of our mana. Oh, now we're drawing counter spells. Now we're now we're cooking. Now we're fire. We are on fire. Make them use that so they don't use it on our on our castle. We are really far ahead right now. Do I care about Narset? I mean, that can get Supreme Verdict. Kind of care about Narset. Like, I think I care about... 
Yeah, I care about Narset. Because Teferi doesn't really do anything because I have my own Narset. Granted, I could also just kill the Narset with my Tutus, but you never know if they have Verdict. Then I would be in trouble if they did. Farewell. Yeah, that's basically the same card, because I can't get rid of... I think I'm okay with this Farewell. Because, like, they don't have Narset. Oh, that, that's great. I want both of these. Yeah, still getting one, unfortunately. This protects our Planeswalkers from dying. And they're going to let us ult to Fairy? Yep. Now they're super freaking dead. Yep. I didn't cycle Shark because if I did, it gave them the opportunity to use an instant speed card to remove it, and I didn't want to give them that opportunity. Am I supposed to bring Dream Trawler in the mirror? It gets countered, right? But it doesn't get vetoed. Let's just take out all the cards that are awful first. I think these are just the awful cards. I think I still want everything else. Uh, Veto, Hallbreaker, Shark, Dispute. Dispute's honestly like a tra I think it's a trap. It might be like a lot worse than it is, than we think it is. I think this is fine for the mirror. It, it's, it's a matter of like, is this, is it one march better than Dream Jaller? One march is probably not better than Dream Jaller. Even though Dream Trawler just gets countered. So just like another threat. They probably boarded out all their verdicts like I did. I don't have any blue mana here.
think I'm doing that because I don't want them to... I want to get value out of that before. Do a Field of Ruin here. And pass. Good thing for me is I have Castle Ardenvale. Hello, Zons. Thanks for the follow. But I kind of only want a castle when I have Veto Mana up. They currently don't have an answer for their Wandering Emperor. I can kill Narset, right? Oh my gosh, I let it die. My goodness. That means they have another one, right? No? I went with this castle. Can't imagine them having anything besides a shark that can deal with this. In Peru, thanks for the follow. Question is, am I vetoing this memory deluge? It would let them the resolve. To, it, would, it would let them resolve to fairy. It didn't cast deluge. I think I do this while they don't have a counter up. Sometimes I would want them to just use a counter on my Faithful Absence. But honestly, I think they might have just like all counter spells in hand. And then I'm just going to win like this. Let's they have like Narset's Reversal, I guess. That's a good draw. So is that. Oh my god. We're bank we're drawing bangers here, chat. Hopefully I draw a veto.
Okay, that's fine, because I can just... I can just absence search a fairy. Naltry, thanks for the follow. I can absence it, or I can just cast Emperor. I think absence is just safest. It's like, what if I cast Emperor and they have like a couple, like a removal spell, and then I don't actually kill Teferi, and that that would be like tragic. Well, they kept they kept farewell in. They could veto this. Then they're tapped out. All right, maybe they have another counter spell for this. That would really suck. Yep. All right. I don't have a direct answer for it right now. Our set's pretty good. Do this before they can uh, use it. Oh, that was bad. They had the clue. Well, no, never mind. It was the same thing. It was the same thing. Oh my gosh, they actually have the trawler too. The ferry. Oh my gosh, this is bad. This is very bad. The 
they I was right and they had a bunch of counter spells, but who keeps farewell in, in the mirror match? Really weird. Hopefully I can just kill them with Holebreaker Horror plus by 4-4. But probably not, because they go to 14 and this is only 11. Hopefully I get to resolve to Fairy. That's a Narset. Sure, I can I can kill the Narset with my 4-4. Four four, attack them for 7. Okay, I can no I can no longer cast a fairy. That Dream Trawler might actually win it for them. I can kill both walkers or put them to three. Pretty sure killing both walkers is the answer. If they have Emperor. Or like Odawara to bounce this. Settle? What? Oh my gosh, if I bounce it, they cast it again. They boarded like it's versus aggro, probably because they were ahead in they're ahead in time. And they were like, oh, we're ahead in time. They have to be the beatdown. So let's just board like they're aggro. Farewell and settle in the mirror? Like opponent just never got punished by the by having those cards in their hand either. I think this deck will stand up in best of one. Would you main deck any of the sideboard? I think it'll stand up in best of one. I would just main deck uh, more portable holes. Still looking. Wasn't last game also a mold of five for us? Or was it not? I mean, we have Shark Typhoon and Dream Challer. Gotta do this to stop the Narset. I 
Am I supposed to make a 1-1 one -one here? No. Okay, I think I want to make a 3-3, three because three, if they kill it, I can resolve Dream Trawler. Maybe if they like settle the wreckage me or something. I mean, I can just keep chilling on castle. Choosing to use Absorb here because I don't really need the Surveil yet. I guess unless they dispute me. They want me... They want me to use my mana so they can resolve something. I'll just let them counter it. You want to resolve to ferry or trawler? Thing. I don't have removal for that. I feel like they have a no, they have a stop for the clue. I can't actually use this. Double light. I can go to Fairy plus Sabotage. Not if they have Vita, though. I think I'm going to plan to Emperor Sabotage. And then try to resolve Trawler, I guess. Well, this guarantee... This here... This here guarantees that I can exile the 4-4. But 
I don't think I don't think I, I let them use the mana on my turn. This plays around sensor also. Get a veto. Alright, so the only thing I have to play around next turn is Veto, so I, I get to resolve Trawler. Oh, crap, I played the land. Oh, I needed to keep that land in my hand. To discard from Trawler, because I don't want to discard to Fairy. I think that was a punt. Dispute? Oh yeah, Dispute's a card. Dispute is a card. So they, they could actually minus on this. They didn't minus. Welcome to the dark side. What's up, Rachel? I, di I did play around Dispute by playing the land. But maybe it was correct to not play the land because if they had removal, they have a four-four shark which blocks troll. No, it doesn't actually block trawler. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna try to tap it. So if they use a removal spell to tap the dream trawler, they didn't. You got some pho for lunch. Ooh, I love pho. All right, so Odawara on this is fine. I just recast it, right? If they attack with the shark, I can't actually afford to block it because they could have Emperor to give it plus one, plus one in first strike. Field of Ruin, how nice of them. I needed another white source anyway. As long as I can't attack? Oh, I'm definitely attacking. Are they going to upkeep try to kill this? Question is, do I value Trawler over Teferi? Probably. Probably need to value what's already on the board rather than what's in my hand. Unless they have double Fateful Absence. All right. You know, that's why you do it in upkeep. <laughs> All right, but I have castle. 
They could kill me. If they have a removal spell every turn, they can kill me. can't play rank what's up with that uh check your settings on the top right sometimes it glitches all right we're in there we got this well oh, they could have settle i have counter spells for that Oh, they have a shark. Oh, wow, they don't have a shark. We're busted. We're gaming. Uh, I think casting Narset's bad. Oh, no. Oh, God. Eleven damage? Remember the time you took out our verdicts in the mirror? <laughs> Dispute? Gross. Do I need Fateful Absence now? I've already used two, so I only have one left in the deck. What the heck? Absorb this, and then they counter my absorb, and then I dispute their counter. Oh, they can bounce their own Dream Trawler back to their hand. All right, they didn't have another spell. Emperor? Oh, March. We might get there in three minutes. All I have to do is stall, though. And I don't have a counter spell. Sensor? Are we going to get there, chat?
Our own Hullbreaker Horror? I could have attacked with the 1-1. One, one. Oh my gosh, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. Oh, why have I not my own Aganjo? Both I Ganjo's mattering in the mirror? What is this? What if they just go... What if they're just like, uh, farewell? Yes! Let's freaking go! Under two minutes left on the clock. Oh, yes, baby, yes. The master of the mirror match. I don't ever want to do that again. I'm conceding every blue-white control mirror match after this because I already know I'm the superior blue-white control player. Move aside, cover go blue. This is why people don't play blue light control. Fair. That is that was actually abysmal. I I think I just want to pull all of my hair out after that. Good games, watch. Good games. I honestly think I want to pull all my hair out my hair out after that. I think I'm just gonna concede every every blue light control mirror after that. I hate it. I actually hate it. Any random match can be a mirror into 30 minutes. Oh, you think that was 30 minutes? No, that was an hour. Heretic man, thanks for the follow. Uh, let, let's. I mean, I mean, we have untapped. We can actually see how long that was. Blood control mirror is like chess with random queens showing up all over the place. <laughs> yeah, flash queens. I mean, we're currently 78% win rate with blue eye control. We only lost to Jeskai, Jeskai Creativity and uh, Rakdo Sacrifice. That match was 52 minutes. Maybe they have a mix list. Maybe it's actually not sacrifice. Be sacrifice or mid range. Don't know which one it is. All I know is they're not pressuring me, which bodes well for me. Honestly, I think I want to Dovin's veto this because I want to absorb 
I want to absorb in time, like a uh, Bone Crusher Giant or whatever else. Yeah, I agree, no, no. The strategic endgame. But everyone's like, Holebreaker Horror. Freaking Dream Trawler. Double Wandering Emperor. Double Teferi Triple Counterspell. It's like, holy crap. Shark Typhoon for eight! Blood Tithe Harvester. Don't currently have an out to that one. But I also don't want them to cast off Nixilis. So I'm definitely going to absorb this. We are absorbing time. All right, can I draw to fairy, please? Guess that's just not happening. Weirdly enough, I'm using this because I want to use Castle plus Veto. And I really, really hope they don't have a Graveyard Trespasser. Not sneeze. Alright, hopefully they just have a Chandra or something, because both of my cards counter Chandra right now, unless they have an untapped land. I robusted, we actually get to scry. Oh, that's awful. Can you calm down, deck? Ah, deck calm down. Deck calmed down. I knew they had Chandra. Freaking knew it. That's fine. I can attack Chandra. Add mana. That's a two drop. Yikes. I need to pressure Chandra. Thinking about whether they want to use this blood token. Now that I know they're on straight mid range, I don't have to counter Blood Tide Harvester anymore on turn five. Second Emperor is interesting. So they jump the hall. Probably not getting value out of that droid disruption anymore. And now when they plus Chandra, I can just kill it with my random samurai laying around. But they probably have Fatal Push. Oh my god, main deck Invoke Despair. What an absolute crazy person. Please don't play Land Trespasser. Don't you do it. Oh my god. Alright, that's fine. We can make them jump. 
Shark Typhoon? I would say that the game one, they don't have an answer to hard cast Shark Typhoon, but they've shown that they're main decking Invoke Despair. Thirty percent of meta is Brachos or Blue White, I guess. But there's so many matchups where Invoke Despair is really bad. Probably a fatal push. Bad cast. Phoenix, thanks for the follow. I probably should have held the Gerard Disruption in my hand just to use it to make a 2 2. Build of Ruin's great here. Yeah, I would have a 2 2 to attack the Chandra here. I will have a few creatures to attack Shangja next turn, though. Hopefully they discard Fatal Push. Probably won't, though. They definitely have Fatal Push in hand. Hopefully they have a Thought Seize. Bone Crusher. Fortunate. They hit me for two, then cast Bone Crusher Giant. It's the most it's the most efficient game plan right now. At least that's what I would do. Yep. can animate Hall to block and also Wandering Emperor, but they can also just Fatal Push. That's fine. Hopefully they fail push now to where I can cast Emperor in response and still block the 2-2. They have to have like two pushes. Make them pay the ward first. We're gaming. Really opponent, tricks are for kids. It wouldn't tap because we're blocking. If they stomp this, I can just plus it with Emperor. broken
I need to make sure I keep a spell in my hand if they have another trespasser. Optic Fatal Push, that's fine. Now they're removing my creatures, which is really good for me. Could have Strangle. Could have... I'd say they could have Dreadbore, but that's not a thing. Which he's thirst might as well be. Honestly, I think I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, March for 3 on the Reflection. See if they jump here. That's a good draw. No, it, it's not a good draw, because I was going to untap my lands anyway. I should have kept that in hand. I should have kept that in hand um, to discard to Graveyard Trespasser. Oh my god, are you kidding me? They play a second one. Do I get to get rid of my Shark Typhoon and my Teferi? And my thing. At least I get to kill her, Chandra. I mean, I think it's greedy to have it in your main deck, but whatever. What do I know? Finally got rid of Chandra. Nothing but love, but I hate Drago. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I got. We, we have to showcase what blue white looks like in Explorer. So, like, what kind of content creator would I be if I was just like not gonna showcase a deck at least once? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's a big oops. Oh! Oh no! Narset! Oh no! They lost a Graveyard Trespasser. I need to stop playing lands. But that field of ruin was fine. Is it okay if I host you on my channel? Yeah, of course. Thanks for asking, though. Appreciate that. Also, I like that it was an indirect way of, of telling me that you're a traitor. I, I see, I see it. It was sneaky, but it was good. Sneaky, sneaky. Ah, 
Ah, you said LOL because you know. I know what you all do. But I did it myself before. <laughs> I might as well keep Verdict for good measure, I guess. You new to streaming? I fi yep, I figured. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. I love, I love streaming. Every day lose your verdict. All right, we definitely take day lose. I can cast both of them. A lot of blue eye control players have a hard time playing against Rakdos. And I can understand why. They have a lot of thought seizes and stuff. But, like, if this game shows anything, it's showing that if you really know how to play the matchup, you can definitely beat it. I mean, Shark Typhoon seems a little bit worse, but Shark Typhoon gets better because they take out all their fatal pushes. Just depends on if they play no if they play Noxious Grass, it's better too. They definitely have Invoke Despair in here, so I think I bring in Disdainful Stroke just because of Invoke Despair and uh, Chandra, Soren, Kalidus. Settle because Settle's a lot worse in their Thought Seize deck, but it's still something. Portable Hole is a little bit weird, too, because, like, it only kills Blood Tithe Harvester and, like, nothing else. I have four verdicts in the main. I, I, maybe I should play three, but... Narset's, like, a little bit weird in the matchup, but it does find Verdict... Absorbent time's kind of weird. But it's still fine. I have so many sweepers to deal with that stuff, though. I do have to counter Fable. And I think I go out some number of, like, Planeswalkers. Narset does stop the Fable draw, but this hand's really good, but it's getting thought seized. The problem is, like, what am I taking out? Fateful Absence? All right, depending on what they take here, it gives, it gives me a lot of information on what their hand is. If they take the Dovin's Veto, they have Fable. If they don't, they don't have Fable. If they take the Fateful Absence, they probably have a turn two Blood Tithe Harvester. All right, they probably have the Blood Tithe Harvester here. Uh, okay, it's a Bone Crusher Giant. Can't imagine this being anything else other than Bone Crusher. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the Bone Crusher Giant hit, I think. 
Well, I, I actually don't think they have Fable because they didn't take the Dovin's Veto. But, like, we could just verdict the Bone Crusher, like, later on. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have the read that they don't have Fable in their hand, so I'm just gonna do this. Because if they, they would take Veto if they had Fable. They would take the Veto if they had a Fable. And, and this read only works if I'm on the draw. They don't play Fable here, unless they just top decked it. Or unless they're Omega Brained. Yeah. Okay, no Fable. This is unfortunate, though, because it's going to turn to nighttime, but uh, hopefully they don't have a. Hopefully they don't have. If they have a Planeswalker, it's fine. Hopefully they don't have Thoughtseize. You know, I have Verdict, which makes. Which makes uh, them just cast no other creatures on the board to make me have to verdict just the graveyard glutton, which is unfortunate. Yeah. I have to verdict here, though. And I get hit by one of these. Now they resolve a Planeswalker. Oh my god. That's fine, that's fine. They did not contribute to the board. Please draw Vito. Yikes, never lucky. Okay, please don't play Black Source and another Invoke the Spare, please. Don't do it. Don't you dare. They take Verdict, that means they have another Graveyard Trespasser. Yep, they drew it. Harvester. Okay, they just had two creatures. Fateful absencing any one of these? I don't think so. Fable's like a tiny bit less valuable games two and three than it is in game one because game one you have to discard your fatal pushes. Games two and three, your hand's probably already what you want unless it's only lands. Okay, so hear me out. If I play Wandering Emperor main phase, I get to hold up Absorb and Fateful Absence. If I don't cast it main phase, I can't do that. Wait, actually, that's not true. Not true, not true, not true. I have to choose which one I do. Alright, I'm just gonna pass. Discard Kalidas? Oh, they're just looking for Thoughtseize. That's a card. That's a card. Why do they have Cletus in the neck post board against blue-white? Uh, blue I keep one Cletus post board against blue-white because it's just, just a 4-mana 3-4 that they have to deal with. Gosh, I wish I had March.
They're going to cast fully. They're going to cast Croxa post combat. Yeah, we're the bad guy today, Penguin. We can cast Wandering Emperor and then lose our Absorb. Or we can take it. I honestly, I honestly think here we just take it. It's not killing Teferi, so... Unless they have Bone Crusher Giant in hand. We are at 7. They did not cast it. Wow. I mean, that's like really good for us. Now they're look now they're gonna be looking for a bone crusher. Then I'm gonna look for a verdict. Because I kind of need to kill this Fable next turn also. I need to hold this Fateful Absence for one of the creature lands. Oh my gosh, Vito. Pretty good. Pretty good. Deluge is pretty good. Maybe I should just minus the Emperor to protect against blocking in the, against the Den. Bossing Emperor makes him attack it more, though. If I if I cast Memory Deluge and I hit my land drop, I have five mana left over, so I think I do that. This is really interesting. As much as I want Aethergust, I think it's March. I don't mind the backseating chats. Unless you're wrong, then I mind it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the only time I the only time I mind backseating is if you are being derogatory. If you're being derogatory, or if you're being um, if you have like like a, an attitude or pretentious, or like a, I can't believe you didn't do this kind of backseating, then then you will be reprimanded. We like constructive criticism here. We don't like oh streamers a bad player type of type of uh, backseating. What's up, masturbator? <laughs> I mean, wow, okay. I like it. I like it. Thank you so much for having that username. All right, demonetized.
settle. We're broken. Oh, wow. This is really interesting. One scrivener's at 10. I do need to draw a verdict at some point. Stop both of the fables. I'm going ham. I wanna I wanna march the Croxa. Even though it does it is a super neg for us. I guess I'm just gonna have to absorb it. We're absorbing time. Like, or I could just march it and, uh, and just discard Absorb. Oh, they're looking for Thoughtseize. That would suck for me. Hello, Zamolo. Thanks for the follow. I'm, pr I'm probably just marching this and discarding Absorb. Is this going to trigger opponent? That's probably the only one in their deck. Oh, we're broken. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my gosh, was that a freaking top deck? Oh my gosh, was that a top deck? We're insane. Don't cast more of those, please. Please don't cast a second one. Please don't cast a second one. Please don't cast a second one. Thorn, okay. Woo. Texas Roy, thanks for the follow. Nazis, sure.
Oh, that's a really good draw. I think I minus on the on the non summon sick reflection. Well, yeah, that's why they use the mana in response to copy their 2-3 flyer. And then I Faithful Absence their 2-3 flyer in response. And then kill the Soren. If I attack, to fairy dies. But I can't. I can't let them draw a Soren. Oh my gosh, that's a shark. Can I play the land? No, I have to discard for Dream Trawler. That's our win con. This is not a Yorian build. Wait, I can draw I can draw a card off the shark and then discard the card I draw. Do I play this? Alright. I'll buy that. It only doesn't work if they have removal spell plus Thoughtseize here. That is fine. They have enough mana to double hive me. That's that's hilarious. All right, if we Shark Typhoon draw and we draw a removal spell, we can stop them from doing this. But honestly, I think we just block it. If they have another Blood Tide Harvester in hand, they can attempt to kill the Trawler. If they have Noxious Grasp in hand right now in response to me discarding this, I'm going to throw up. Uh, I already reset it, you know. Okay, I'm not throwing up. For some reason, untap's not working right now. Blood Chief's Thirst. Sure. Now they're forced to block because I can just animate Hall. Verdict, that's really bad. Like, what are they gonna do, what are they gonna do now? Like, you're sure they're just dead. They have nine damage. Oh, they're not forced to chump. Whatever. They're they're forced to chump next turn. They can't kill me from fifteen. Like not even with graveyard trespasser, they can't. Imagine having a sensor. I'd be broken if I had a sensor. 
mean, they don't have any flyers. They just lose. And this is a sorcery speed ability. So they can try to kill Trawler. It's just not going to work. That's nine damage. Yeah, this looks like a concede attack. They are very much dead. And there you go. Tutorial on how to beat Rakdos Midrange with Blue Eye Control. Swift Easy Clap 2-0. Super Swift. Six minutes and 58 seconds off the clock, Swift. I should have a BP monitor when playing Blue White. <laughs> Mastery. Get mastery? How fortunate of us. What's the mirror breaker for Rakdos Midrange? It is I can I can tell you, Flynn. It is one hundred percent invoke despair. The matchup is so much easier when you just resolve that card. Plus, it's correct to take out Thoughtseize in the mirror match, so they're not gonna Thoughtseize it from you. You'll just have it the whole game until you feel like casting it. That busted chat? All right, Jamers, thanks for watching. This is a full Pioneer version of this deck. You can play every single card in this deck in Pioneer. I don't think I would change a thing. Supreme Verdict remains to be broken. I, I know that four Supreme Verdict in the main deck is probably a little bit too much. Maybe you can put one in the sideboard and play three Shark Typhoons main or four Teferis, four Wandering Emperors. Feel free to change the stuff if you want. I'm also not playing Sensor, so take that with a grain of salt. But anyways, hopefully you'll like this deck. I'm not really a huge on Blue Eye Control because I don't like playing against it that much unless I'm playing like a Rakdos midrange deck that I love playing against Blue Eye Control. Anyways... Check out this video right here if you want to see more Explorer content, and feel free to subscribe to the channel as well to see more Explorer best of three content to help you in your Pioneer matches. Anyways, I'm off to the next one. I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, peace. Yeah, fun deck. Fun deck to play. Boring to watch. Have you played with Tarmogoyf yet in the store? I have not, but I watched Jeff Hoagland's entire Jund Tarmogoyf deck, and I kind of want to play it. Um... But anyways, it seemed, I think this is boring to watch, but maybe that's just my opinion that's in the minority because there's 236 people here. So thank you all for coming out. Um, we will be back tomorrow with some more gameplay. I think I want to play, um, let me just show you a little bit of a teaser. If you want to watch this deck tomorrow, follow the channel. This is the last day to meet our sub goal, by the way. Last day to meet sub goal, but it's going to start over at zero um, tomorrow. We are 19 away. From me ordering a bunch of weird jamming t-shirts for people to get um, to get as a cool sub goal for hitting 100. 19 away. Might not happen today. But for sure, next month will be another try. This is the deck we're trying out. Abzan Festival. Can you please share that list on Hoagland's Discord or post it here? Yes, I can. I'll post it in Hoagland's Discord. And I will post it in my own Discord, Peng Penguin. But this is... This, this list is far from done. I just throw through some stuff together. But what do you all think of me playing a deck like this tomorrow on Best of Three? We have Teleportation Circle, chat. Teleportation Circle with... Uh, we, we can cast Storm the Festival and get Teleportation Circle plus like... Find, plus like Rhino and like Yor you can get Yorian off of Festival, Pulsamir, Nissa for recasting Storms out of the Graveyard, bunch of Night of Autumns for Fable the Mirror Breaker, some, a bunch of Ramp here as well. 
and you can blink Lenoir Visionary to draw cards. And we can also blink Siege Rhino over and over again. Wisdom Shroomy, thanks for the follow. Siege Rhino is the card I'm the most excited to play with. Yeah, me too, but I, it also might just be terrible. Uh, if you want to catch my my Siege Rhino video that I already that I already uh, posted on my YouTube channel, you can check it out. It's bad. Trust me, it's awful. It might be the worst deck I've ever played in my life. We did win some matches with it, so if you want to see the matches that we won, check out my YouTube channel and watch me copying Siege Rhino with Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Um, thank you so much for the subs, Rata Penguin. Appreciate you. But we're going to work on this for tomorrow. It might look a bit different. We might start playing some matches and change a few cards around. Um, Uber Doobie, thanks for the follow as well. We're just going to go ahead and raid somebody here. I don't know who's currently live, but... I will be going to a cool Korean barbecue place, and if you want to if you want to see a picture or two of me having Korean barbecue, I will be posting it in the Discord. Maybe I'll post it on Twitter as well. So make sure to follow me on Twitter to catch updates of my life if you want to, and Discord to catch updates with everyone else here from Jametown. Thanks for the follows and everybody, everybody for the subs. Let's go ahead and raid one of our friends. Um, I actually have a friend that I met at my regional championship qualifier, and I found out that they streamed. Let's go ahead and make his day. How, how do we feel about making their making my friend's day that has one viewer right now? How do we feel about that? Are we in for that? My friend that I met at a regional championship qualifier found out that they streamed. They're streaming right now. They have one viewer. How do you feel about making their day? Do we want to toss toss some follows over? They're playing Mass Effect right now. All in favor? Thumbs up? All right, I'm doing it anyway. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, thanks for all the follows, all the subs. You guys are awesome. Feel free to check out my stuff from YouTube. This video, the video that I'll be playing, that I played today, Blue Eye Control, if you want to catch the whole thing, it'll be up on YouTube tomorrow. Uh, all the best matches from that, if you want to catch up on how I uh, did those, you can, how I played in those matches, you can analyze my gameplay, sometimes I misplay, but whatever. Um, you can, um, you know, uh, rewind back and forth if you want to catch that on YouTube tomorrow. Anyways, have a good rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, Goose Gang, out. Let's go!